when we drive back home makes me think of you. Hello, fellow YouTubers. I'm Matt Stryker, and this is Ree's Retro Toys. So I'm down in Florida on a family trip visiting friends, uh, Pensacola to be exact, and I googled some local vintage toy stores to see what I could find. Uh, and so I came up with JB Toys and Games. So this is a vendor inside the Blue Moon Antique Mall, which I am actually sitting out front of right now. So um, I guess they have some vintage toys and goodies and I figured I'd come check them out and hopefully do a little video for you guys. So I am uh, out front now and I'm gonna go in. So wish me luck.
Okay, so the first item I picked up at JV Toys and Games is this mint on card Dick Tracy Sam Ketchum figure. I did not have him in my collection, nor did I have him when I was a kid. So I've been on the lookout for good old Sam here. You know, Dick Tracy's right hand man. And uh, Dick Tracy is a very affordable toy line to collect if you're getting into collecting. Uh, from 1990, Playmates Toys. They made a ton of these back in the day. Um, I made kind of an in-depth Dick Tracy video on my channel about the whole phenomenon and how it, how it started. Uh, Warren Beatty and Madonna and all that and Playmates Toys. So uh, check that out if you haven't already. Then I got this Jace and the Wheeled Warriors Beast Walker vehicle. This is, of course, the bad guy vehicle, the Monster Mines. And it is near complete. It's only missing a small radar dish. Very cool line of toys to collect. Um, unfortunately, the guns that attach to the vehicles are very prone to breaking. They have two tabs on either side there. And one of them is very prone to break off. And uh, then, of course, it's a little hard because it doesn't fit snugly into the hole of the vehicle. So I've got a few broken tabs, but I should be able to put them in place there. And if you unscrew the, the, the brain here, that's where you find the monster mines inside. They're little rubber brain dudes that came with the monster mind vehicles for Wheel Warriors. So very cool addition there. And then I picked up two Snailian figures. I have no way to discern who is who in this line of Snailians, <laughs> but this one here kind of has the blue armor with purple and gold trim and highlights. And then this one here is green with yellow and orange. And of course, this is the armor. I guess the armor can snap off and then you see the Snailian figure underneath. You see a lot of these carded uh, many times. Uh, so I figured what the heck, they were cheap enough. They're cool little dudes to add to my action figure collection. And now back to JB Toys and Games, right after these messages. Each Snailian comes with two awesome action figures, Turbo Flex shells, supersonic armor, two shell shots, two official trading cards, and action pack mini comic. New from JPI.
this. And then I picked up a complete Masters of the Universe jet sled accessory vehicle. This came on a card back. And like I said, it's basically like an, an accessory like or a small vehicle uh, that He-Man could ride. This flips up like that. You can put He-Man here and you can kind of hold on right here. And just go flying around. And it's got a couple missiles attached to it here. Or it has the body armor pieces where you can wear it on your back and you can go flying around like this. Pretty neat. Um, I got it really cheap too. I mean, he only had 10 bucks on this and it's 100% complete. So I was happy to add this to the Masters of the Universe collection. And then I decided to pick up a few G.I. Joes while I was there. He had a lot of bagged G.I. Joes on that one wall near the end of the video. And uh, so I picked a few out that I wanted. First, I got the 1991 Heavy Duty. He is not 100% complete, but he's close. He has his backpack there. And then here is his missile launchers. Both spring mechanisms work for the green missiles to fire out. Unfortunately, the back piece that kind of keeps this on his person, it's supposed to kind of like go over him like this be able to hold it it's broken off so I'll just kind of have to strategically place him with his missile launchers uh, on display so cool heavy duty figure still the o-ring style and then I picked up two star brigade GI Joes of course these aren't as popular um, for GI Joe collectors because they came much later in the line like 10 years later um, but this is the Cobra bat and he is near complete. He's only missing maybe two of his yellow accessories. And here's all sorts of the accessories that came with him. The rocket launcher here. And then the stand as well. 
And then the final Star Brigade figure I got is Robo Joe, and he's actually 100% complete. I love the colors of the Star Brigade because they were leaning more towards that early 90s feel, like the neon, the bright colors that kind of like Playmates toys ushered in with Toxic Crusaders and Ninja Turtles. And here are all of his accessories that go with Robo Joe. So again, I don't normally collect G.I. Joes, but I don't know, it was on a whim. I kind of felt like grabbing a couple and uh, these caught my eye. So that's it guys, that's what I picked up at JB Toys and Games inside the Blue Moon Antique Mall in Pensacola, Florida. Many thanks to the owners of the Antique Mall who didn't mind me filming in there and who were very helpful with the keys getting stuff out of the display cases as well. What was awesome about it too is that it was Easter weekend, so I got 20% off my entire purchase at JB Toys and Games. So many thanks to him as well for participating in that Easter sale. I hope you enjoyed this video. Be sure to hit that like button if you did and subscribe to my channel at Ree's Retro Toys for all of your toy hunting needs. Thanks for watching guys. Keep on hunting.